This is the Raspberry Pi. It's Britain's most popular computer, and it's built by Sony just up the road in Bridge End. They've just sold over 10 million of these things, and it's a device that will change your life. It might seem small, but it's very powerful. It runs Linux, and Linux is run by the biggest machines in the world. So if you get to use this machine, you can use the biggest machines in the world. Now, there are only three things you can do with a machine. You can turn it on, use it, and turn it off. And that's what we'll do here. Before we turn the machine on, let's just have a quick look at what we have with the Raspberry Pi. Here you see it has four USB ports, a network port, a headphone socket, a connection for your display, the power supply where the juice goes in, and on the back, a small socket for the micro SD card. Make sure you insert the micro SD card correctly before you turn on the power. The power, or juice, comes from a standard charger that you would use for an iPad or a mobile phone, and plugs in here. You can see that the juice is coming through because the red light stays on. And then the green light shows that the Pi is reading its micro SD card. At the other end, you can plug in your network lead. When there's something connected, the yellow light comes on, and when the Pi is talking on the network, the green light flashes. Connect your mouse and keyboard to any of the four USB ports. And finally, connect your display to the HDMI port. The Pi doesn't have a reset button, so if you can't see anything, disconnect the power, count to five, and reinsert it. The red light should come back on again to show there is power, the green light shows that it's talking to its micro SD card. And hopefully by now, you should see something on your screen. When the Pi is turned on, you can either see one Raspberry Pi or four Raspberry Pis at the top of the screen. One Raspberry Pi means you're running an old machine with just a single processor, and four means you're running four processors on the later machines. The rest of this is just gobbledygook, and is known as the boot process. Your Pi is booting. Your Pi can boot into one of two modes, the text mode and the graphics mode, a GUI, a graphical user interface. In the text mode, you have to log in with your username and password. Every new Pi has a default username, Pi, P-I, with the password Raspberry. Nothing appears on the screen when you type your password. This is for security. Once you've successfully logged in, you will see the green prompt, Pi at Raspberry. To enter the graphics mode, type Start X. Although the graphics mode is easy to use, it's not as powerful as the text mode. And to run text mode inside the graphics mode, simply click on the little black terminal icon at the top of the screen. Now you have a text mode running inside the graphics mode. There were two ways of shutting down the Raspberry Pi. The first was in graphics mode. You could go up to menu, select shutdown, and choose to shut down or reboot. In text mode, it took a little more work. We had to type the command shutdown. But then Linux wanted to know a bit more. Did you want to halt or did you want to reboot? If you wanted to halt, you typed minus H. If you wanted to reboot, you typed minus R. But still that wasn't good enough for Linux. Linux wanted more information. When do you want to shut down? We could shut down at 10.30 on Christmas morning in 2020. But no, we want to shut down now. The command to shut down and halt would therefore be shutdown space minus H space now. We've covered a good deal in this video. We've introduced the Raspberry Pi, the small but powerful computer. We saw how to insert the micro SD card, how to connect keyboard, mouse and screen, and how to connect the network. We could check how the Pi was getting on as it 
booted by checking the small LED indicators on the board. If the Pi didn't boot, and you have checked that the screen is turned on and connected correctly, then all you had to do was remove the power for 5 seconds and reinsert, as the Pi does not have a reset button. As the Pi booted, it produced gobbledygook on the screen that very few people need to know. But once that had passed, the Pi could be up in a text mode or graphics mode, the GUI. In the text mode, you have to enter your username and password to get to the green command prompt. It's called the command prompt because the Pi is prompting you to type in a command. To get to the graphical mode from the text mode, the command to enter was StarTex, all in one word. You had to do much less typing in the graphical mode, but because it's not so powerful, we clicked on the black terminal icon to enter our commands. We then went through the correct way of shutting down or rebooting in graphical mode and in text mode. Now here's a tip. It's always better to shut down your machine correctly, as this is the best way to avoid any problems with losing data. Try to shut down cleanly every time. Try to avoid just pulling out the power, particularly if the green light is still flashing. It's better to be patient and wait. Only remove the micro SD card when the power is turned off.